Establishing start and end curves for turning operations has been made much easier in FeatureCam 2014. In previous versions you would have had to remember the name, in this case I've got an end curve and a start curve, and I would have to take those names and enter those manually by typing those into the fields that I wish to change. This process has been made a lot easier by allowing you to simply pick the curve from the graphics window or from the part view. In this example you can see we've got some features already created including a turning operation, a hole through the centre, and then this grooving operation and this recess at the bottom of the component. If I play through this just as a centreline simulation, so we have the turn, we have the hole, we have the chamfer, and then we have the boring tool coming into position. And in this case I'm just going to turn off my shading so you can see this tool approaching my part. So here it's cutting the groove out, working its way down through the component, like so. You can see it moves straight into the finishing operation and back out again. Now what I want to do is I want to control the movement into the part, I want to retract out so that once we finish roughing some of the material will clear out and then pull the tool back in to do the finishing operation. In this case I've got some curves, note I've got an end curve and a start curve to control the tool movement. I can go into the operation, into the roughing, into the turning tab, and in this case you can see at the moment I've got no curve set. To select my start curve I simply select the start point and you'll notice there is a new icon next to the field and go ahead and select the curve either from my part view, or I can do it directly from the graphics screen. So I'm going to select the end curve and apply. Those curves are now set in my roughing operation. I can repeat this process for the finishing operation as well, again selecting the start curve and selecting the end curve as well. I can now preview this operation, again using Alt F3, tool comes into position, follows that curve along, works its way into the part to clear the material, and then retracts back out so we can remove any swarf that is left within the component before we finish. Final thing, just to check on 3D simulation, to make sure we're happy with the final result of our component.